everyone, it's me. So today I'm going to try to pronounce difficult British place names as someone who is obviously not British. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I am a Canadian who has spent the last four years living in England. I'm now back here in Ontario, Canada temporarily, but um, people always ask for these videos, so here you go. <laughs> Recently, I did a video of the hardest British place names to pronounce, and in that video, I asked you guys what places should have been on this list. So out of your comments on that video, I've chosen 11, I think, and I'm going to try and pronounce them. Here in beautiful, sunny, hot as hell, Ontario. It is a beautiful 40 degree day here in Ontario. I think it's like 1030. Um, I thought, why don't I film outside? It's beautiful, and now I'm sweating, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I'm always sweating. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so one of the very um, popular suggestions that people gave me was, I'm just going to go for it, Coggenho, which must not be right, surely. So this is in Northampton, North Hamptonshire, or Northamptonshire. I say sheer, but a lot of people are like, no, it's supposed to be sure. That doesn't sound right to me, so I don't listen to anybody but myself. <laughs> For this one, I'm just going to go straight with my horrific North American accent, and I'm going to say Coggenho. So what is it actually? Cookno. Can you guys hear that? Cookno. 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 Northampton. Northampton fear. Northamptonshire. Cook. Cook. Cookno. 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 Of course. Cookno. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Not. Okay, number two. This one was also extremely popular, as you can probably guess comes to us from the beautiful Lancashire. I know it's not supposed to sound the way that it is spelt. I know that. You know that, probably. All Only British people seem to watch these videos. I'm gonna say... Well, the last one was Kukno, or similar. What about... Clit... Clil... Clilro... Clilro... Kinda just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Clilro... Something that doesn't really sound like anything. But what what does Google Translate say? Clithero. Y'all are liars. Clithero. Clithero, of course. Clithero. Clithero. Of course. Does anyone here live in Clithero, Lancashire? Is it nice? I bet it's beautiful. Now, number three is a long boy because for whatever reason, the Brits love place names that are a million letters long. This one comes to us from Northumberland. That was pretty good, right? Normally I would say Northumberland, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something new and I think it's probably Northumberland, maybe. We don't even know if that's right. So how do we want to say this one? Well, basic pronunciation would be maybe something like, I don't know, Featherstone Hog. Featherstone Hog. It's not going to be that because I know all of you guys are liars. Let's say Fee... Fee Stone Ha. That's what I'm going to say. Fee Stone Ha. Fan Shaw. Of course. <laughs> what? Fan Shaw. Fan Shaw. Are you serious? Fan Shaw. Just take a deep breath, none of this matters. Okay, that is a goddamn lie. I know, in Ontario, we actually have a college called Fanshawe College, and it is spelled, as one might suggest, Fanshawe. You're telling me that Featherstone Ha is also... Fanshawe. You guys know that's not right. Fanshawe. Fanshawe. I'll say it again and I'll, I'll say it till I die. Y'all are liars. Next up, we are going to Cornwall. 
which I've always wanted to go to, to be honest. Now, this one looks too simple. Naturally, I, wa I would want to say faux maybe, but we know that this is strange because otherwise, why would people suggest it? So perhaps, let's say faux, faux Cornwall, yes? Foy. That was kind of close, wasn't it? I almost guessed that one. Foy. 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 Cornwall, I know all you guys sound like pirates, so you can pronounce things however you want to pronounce them, alright? Nobody's gonna question that, because your accents are kind of strange anyways. Now, most of this list, as you probably will see, I kept it to England and Scotland. Wales, as much as it is fun to try and guess those, I don't understand the alphabet or how the letters are supposed to sound, so it's just a jumbled mess. So I've kept it. I think it's all England and Scotland. I hope you don't mind. If you do mind, I literally don't care. Next up, we are going to West Yorkshire. West Yorkshire, this one looks like a girl's name. I would probably say that as Kaylee. If I saw a girl and for some strange reason she had a name tag and it said that, I don't know in what situation you would wear a name tag, but just imagine that for a second, I would say Kaylee, right? So you know what, let's just stick with our guy. I'm going to say Kaylee in West Yorkshire. Keith Lee. Keith Lee. That doesn't say Keith and you goddamn know it. Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Keith Lee, apparently. You guys know that that should be Kaylee. I'm like actively sweating. Just go ahead and, and ignore that. As in all my videos, I seem to be sweating. Maybe it's a condition. That has to be Kaylee, not Keith Lee. Ya numps. Now number six is from Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire in England, obviously. Um, how do we want to say that? Well, the obvious one would be Canwick, which we know it can't be because somebody suggested this. All of these were suggested by multiple people, so I know that they're all strange. I want to say Canwick, that can't be right, so perhaps we want to say Cork. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Canuck. You know what? I'm not far off. Canuck. 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 You know what? That makes perfect sense because it is spelled Canwick. So why not Canuck? Canuck. Yes, of course. It makes perfect sense. I shouldn't have even questioned it. I should have known from the beginning, of course. Yes. Absolutely. Makes perfect sense. Now, next we are going to Herefordshire. 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 I'm pretty sure that's where you guys make all the best crisps, if I'm not mistaken. And we are going to Leo Minster. Leo Minster. I know that can't be true, but you know what? I don't have any other suggestions. Leon Minster. Lemster. Lemster. Lemster? Lemster. 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 It kind of reminds me of Lemsip, to be honest. I don't know why that memory. I've got a lot of memories with Lemsip, let me tell you. I guess we're just pretending that the O is not there and we're saying Lemster. Lemster, of course, in Herefordshire. Lemster in Herefordshire. Fabulous. These videos are never embarrassing at all. Next, we are at number eight in Norfolk. Norfolk? Norfolk. Norfolk. That's embarrassing on itself. Now, this one I know was suggested a lot. Um, Habsburg, which is not correct. So, how do we want to shorten this? It seems like all the British place names are shortened and a lot of letters are just ignored. So maybe we want to say Hap Hap Haperg. 
Hatberg. That's what I'm going to say, and I'm sticking to it. All right? Everyone else is wrong. Haysborough. 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 Are you kidding? Haysborough. Haysborough. So, that doesn't... Is the heat getting to me, or am I being pranked by Google Translate? Because something is happening, because that does not say Haysborough. Haysborough. Everybody in Norfolk, I hope you're happy. <laughs> I hope you're happy. <laughs> now, number nine, we're going to beautiful Devon, another place that I'd hope to visit at some point if I'm ever able to travel again. So, in Devon, we have Wivelescombe. Wivelescombe is obviously not right, so maybe we want to say Wilcombe. You know what? That actually sounds reasonable. I'm going to say Wilcombe in Devon for a thousand points, please. Wivelescombe. Okay, so I just broke Google Translate. That's fine. It happens once a video. Wivelescombe. Wivaliskum. 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 You know what? All right. Devin, I'll let you have that one. It kind of makes sense. And I'm really sweaty, so... Oh, there goes a beat. So, what is... What's going on? I don't know. Let's, let's have a water break. Now, number 10, we are in Chester. That's probably not right either. And this one looks like a nightmare, both to pronounce and to spell. Let's say Cholmondele. Cholmondele. Have you ever been to Cholmondele? It's absolutely beautiful. Who knows? Never heard of it, never been there. Okay, Ch Cholmondele. Chumley. 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 What? Chumley. So not Cholmondele. No. It's Chumley. Chumley. I want to say that I'm surprised, but also... Not surprised. Now our final place name to pronounce comes to us from Scotland, and it is Luchars. Let's say this one is Lars. For some reason I want to say Lars. It's just in my heart. So what is it actually? Lucas. <laughs> I don't understand. Lucas. Lucas. Yes, of course. Of course. Lucas. Now, of course, these are pronunciations done by Google Translate, which is not necessarily correct in any case, but if it is close, even a percentage, then I am losing my mind. Lucas. Lucas. Okay, so, wow, what do we, what have we learned from this? Absolutely nothing. So those are 11 British places that you guys, viewers, hello, have suggested. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. I got a video out of it, so thank you very much. If there are more place names that you'd like me to try to pronounce, leave a comment. Let me know. Maybe we do a part three. I don't know. Maybe we do this to the end of time. Maybe we never do this again. It's unsure at this time. <laughs> but I hope you guys are keeping safe and sane and you're washing your hands and you're wearing your mask. All right, not that difficult. Okay, stop complaining. That's just my little, that's my little rant. I get one each video. I'm allowed it. But that's it for me here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any video ideas that you would like to see me do, just let me know. I'm here every Tuesday and every Saturday on Patreon, and every Sunday on Twitch, and then the times in between I'm sleeping. I hibernate like a bear. Okay, time to stop. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, bye!